In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Good people, I'm sure you are well. We start a new week on the 21st day of February, this year of Lord and Savior 2021, and I am on the case of our gracious ladies out there. I did say that I want to dedicate a few of my devotions to our gracious women out there. On Saturday, and today, we are looking at... Uh, various ways that you can love yourself as a woman. I remember that uh, the last thing we said on Saturday is about being gentle, being kind, and being patient to yourself. And we said, maybe there are some areas you have been working on. Maybe there are some habits, or there is a certain habit that you have been trying to overcome and it hasn't gone, and maybe gradually you are starting to get impatient with yourself. Please be patient with yourself. The rest of the world cannot afford to be impatient with you and you do the same to yourself. No. And this uh, takes us to number five. Be kind to your mind. It's something we call self-hatred. We always say that self-hatred is just hating your thoughts. Sometimes you'll be having some weird thoughts. You cannot hate yourself for thinking in a certain way. Gently change your thoughts. If you have been having thoughts that uh, meditate around you not prospering or one or two things, the point is very clear. Love yourself. Hating, hating your thoughts will not help. The best you can do, change your thoughts. In fact, we say that if you want to change the way you are living your life, the first thing you do is change your thoughts. Accommodate the thoughts that bring out the greatness that you are, that you are as a woman and the greatness that you are seeking as a woman. The other one is learn to praise yourself. I say this because some of you are in relationships with men and women who never praise you. Some of you are married to narcissistic husbands who have never seen anything good with you. And you can be sure that if you cannot get your praise at home, chances of getting it elsewhere with some attached thoughts is very high. In the event you are in that kind of a situation, you have a husband who has never praised you, who never value you, it is time to learn how to praise yourself. I know some of you have parents who are actually more of enemies to you than your blood parents. Sometimes you even think, am I a real daughter of my mom? Why does she treat me the way she does? What about my dad who keeps on taking advantage of me? Those things happen. When they do happen, please do not forget that when the rest of the world has forgotten you, the last person who should ever, ever think of forgetting you is yourself. Learn to praise yourself, gracious ladies. Learn to affirm yourselves, gracious ladies. If we cannot tell you that you are beautiful, if we cannot tell you that you are smart, just know that you are smart and you are beautiful. The rest of us may not. The rest of us may forget. Please do not forget. Let us forget. Either because of our own wicked ways or wickedness or because of our jealousy, you never know. Or maybe we forget. Or maybe we are so conflicted we can't even notice you. But never fail to notice yourself. 
support yourself. There are people who will come to your mind, onto your life. They will come as con men and con women. Some will come determined to bring you down. Support yourself. Learn to support yourself. That is important. Learn to support yourself. In all things, find ways to support yourself. Reach out to friends and allow them to help you. Of course, with no strings attached. It's being strong to ask for help when you need it. Sometimes you may need a stronger hand to lift you up. Never shy away to ask for help. That is self-support. The rest of us may not want to support you for whatever reason, because some of us, we don't want to support you so that you don't get stronger than we are. So we will forget you. Don't forget to support yourself. Be loving to your negatives. Be loving to your negatives. Acknowledge, dear gracious ladies, that you were created by God to fulfill a need. There is some purpose that you have to fulfill as you live as a woman. Now you are finding new positive ways to fulfill those needs. So lovingly, release the old negative patterns. Maybe you thought you will never get married. Now you are in marriage. Are you still in doubt? Maybe you thought that you could not make it in business. Now you are running a thriving business. Are you still in doubt? Maybe you thought you could not be a mother. Today you are a mom. Are you still doubting? Maybe you thought you would never uh, stand strong financially. Today you are financially endowed. Are you still doubting? Please don't. Please do not. On the same length, the area of negatives. Gracious ladies, we all have our failings. We all have our weaknesses. You are not exceptional. Do not hate yourself because you have a certain weakness. Please don't. Please don't. Struggle to overcome it. Struggle to overcome that because God has given you the strength and the capacity to overcome adversity. Do not allow all those negative thoughts to bring you down. Remove them from your system and learn to appreciate yourself even when you are so down in all things. Gracious ladies, may God bless you. I'll be able to conclude this tomorrow morning in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Do have a productive Monday. Thank you.